For the first time ever, Madison will soon have a facility dedicated to the city's black community and their cultural contributions. Tonight, Ward Jollis talks with leaders behind the Center for Black Excellence and Culture and explains that the impact it will have on Madison's black artists. This is what I dream. This is what I need. This is what I want. For Madison Reverend Dr. Alex G., years of dreaming and planning of a new home for the city's black community are finally coming to fruition. The Center for Black Excellence and Culture is now just months away from breaking ground. We are, we are so proud of the fact that we've been able to raise $23 million in less than a year. That's just... Um, that's just mind boggling. But fundraising aside, G is proud of what's been put into this effort. Everyone from the architects to the leaders of the project is black. The building itself reflective, the black aesthetic and design. And when complete, G believes the center will serve as a home for black artists as well. So they will see hundreds and hundreds of people coming to plays, concerts, a coffee shop, the innovation space, the, the library. It excites me to have an artistic home. Community activist and artist Dana Pelabon is one of the many black leaders hoping to make this new space the epicenter of black culture in Madison. She'll be the center's theater programmer. I have been a black artist here for over 20 years, and, and I've never had a space where um, it is exclusively um, black art and black theater and black music. Pelabon will work with the county's music and theater scene to ensure black children have the same theatrical experiences as others. People will want to sit outside and enjoy it. It's just one small piece of a monumental project that G says is now on the cusp of reality. This place is going to make um, Madison and Wisconsin a destination. And Dr. G says they expect to have all of that money raised by the end of this year so that they can break ground on this project by spring of 2024 and have it completed by 2025. In Madison, we're Jonas, 27 News.